Welcome on the Flow Editor. In this video, I'll show you how you can create your first iBot from A to Z, and you'll see how easy it is to get started. So on the left here, you have a sidebar that contains many blocks, and these blocks will be the building blocks of your flow. These blocks are sorted by categories. You have the bubbles category that allows you to display information to your users, such as a text bubble, image bubble, video bubble. You also have the inputs uh, category that allows you to ask information to your user, such as a text input, an email input, phone number, or others. You also have the logic category that allows you to trigger internal things uh, to make your bot smarter, in a sense. And finally, you have the integrations category that allows you to communicate with external services, such as Google Sheets, Google Analytics, or any other type of service uh, using the webhook uh, block, for example. So let's get started with a text bubble that will just display Hello World. All we need to do is to drag and drop this uh, block anywhere on the graph, and it will create a group for us with uh, our block. So let's type Hello World. And now we can preview our bot using the preview button anytime. And as you can see, there's nothing displayed here. It is because the start step isn't connected to anything. So we can connect it to our newly created group. Let's preview it again. And you can see Hello World. Perfect. Then let's add an image to uh, give it a more human uh, vibe to the bot. Image. I can choose to upload an image, embed a link, or choose a GIF from Giphy. Let's search for hi. And why not this one? Let's preview it again. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's say we want to ask our user for his name. So we'll need a text input for this. So let's drag a text input just underneath our previous blocks. But we also need to introduce the question. So we need to add a text block just above the text input that will say, what's your name? Let's try it out. Hello world, what's your name? That is perfect. OK, now maybe we want to ask our user for his email. So we can create a new group, maybe, by drag and dropping uh, a block anywhere else in the graph. And it will create our second group. And let's now add a email input block. And now we need to connect our previous group to the new group. And as you can see, you can connect it to the group. You can also connect it to specific blocks if you need to. Then when we finish with our flow, we can customize the bot by clicking on the theme tab. You can customize many, many things such as the font, the background, um, uh, many chat colors, but you can also add uh, custom CSS. So there's plenty of freedom here. Then we can also change some settings such as the typing emulation speed, the metadata, um, and also uh, some general uh, settings. Then when we're ready, we can click on the Publish button that will redirect us to the Share tab. And it will give us a link that we can directly share to anyone. And we can also decide to embed the Typebot to our web applications or mobile applications using the instructions here. Let's copy our new Typebot URL. Let's open up a new tab to try it out. Batiste, bat.test.com, bye. And now we can come back to Typebot and check out the results. And as you can see, we've already collected this new uh, result. And yeah, you can start sharing this URL to your user and start collecting results. Uh, as simple as that.